Hello, I'm the Guitar Geek, and this is how to put your pickups back in your pick guard without losing these tiny little pesky springs. Putting a pickup back in a pick guard involves these springs, and for me that's never easy because they tend to ping out all over the place and fly around. This is an SG pick guard, but it works on any pick guard at all with any pickups. What I'm going to do is show you how to get rid of this spring and stop it pinging about. The good news is you probably don't have to go out and buy anything because you've probably got one of these hanging around somewhere, an old neglected cable that doesn't work anymore. Take some snips, cut yourself a length of cable, discard the rest. Once you've cut your piece of cable, then remove the inside, there's some two inside wires there and a bit of paper, and then cut this in half so you've got two lengths of roughly the same size. It's kind of hard to, to show you on the camera. There, there we go. The screw fits just through this cable sheath, so that's the kind of fit you're looking for. And what will happen is as you tighten that screw in, this cable sheath will get ever so slightly squished, enabling you to get the right length on the pickguard height. You do have to use trial and error to find out how long these sheaths need to be, but mine are about the top length of my thumb for a Gibson SG. Now it's time to put them in. It's in roughly the right place, but I'll set that correctly once the strings are on and the pick guard's back on the guitar. Um, obviously I've got to do the second one here, but that is how you rid yourself of those pesky springs. It still has some springiness to it, so that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. 